everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a what i got for christmas now i do this video every year i love it i love seeing what other people got for christmas because i'm so freaking nosy it's actually not okay literally every two seconds christmas day i'm like did you guys get any presents like what did you get show me what are you doing what are you up to i just love it and i know obviously this christmas is definitely a lot different to last year's christmas and the years before so i'm sending love if anyone struggled or they weren't able to spend time with their family normally I'd be going to Yorkshire and spending it like 30 of us but there was only four of us this year I'm so lucky though that I get along really well with my parents and my sister so we had a really really amazing Christmas but I know not everyone did and I'm sending my love to everyone that had a bit of a shit day you do have to think of it as it is just one day although it's like oh Christmas uh, it is just one day it's not actually like if you went off social media you wouldn't even realize it was Christmas day also I want to do a little disclaimer I'm not trying to brag you guys know me me. you've watched me forever you know that <laughs> i'm not like making a video to brag it's just tradition and it's fun let me know what your favorite present that you got is in the comments i'd love to see because like i said i want to know what people got for christmas with that all being said i'm gonna get started i was very spoiled by my family and my boyfriend this year so i have some really really good stuff to show you guys it's basically like a haul but the best sort of haul ever so the first thing that i opened was my stocking i'm going to run through this because i got lots of little chalky bits so lint chocolate i was so excited because lint is like posh chocolate i think is it just me love this get these have been eaten <laughs> i got this in my stocking which i love it's a book about cancer star signs so i'm a cancer as you can tell and i find astrology super interesting and it talks all about compatibility all of this me and my boyfriend's star signs are the second to least compatible so that's reassuring. We also got some fuzzy socks. Oh, we got more posh chocolate. I don't even know if this is posh, but to me it is. This is really good. My sister opened hers and we ate loads. Then I got this hair towel, which I'm very excited to try. It's got coconut oil to help support hair growth. Then I got some scrunchies and a bath bomb. I also got these eye under eye patches from Primark, which I have some already and I love. Some jelly beans and then also look at what my mum did. So she bought like a massive thing of sweets and bought these jars and put loads of sweets in them. It's literally adorable because my sister prefers sweets. I prefer chocolate. So she tries to do a mix of everything to please us. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get into presents from my sister now. She did a really thoughtful present. Basically, I've had a bit of a shit year to be honest and struggled quite a lot and i think lots of my presents reflect that and she wanted to do like a self-care package i literally cried because i just the thought of someone like jasmine doesn't care really about crystals or anything like that but the fact that she like gone online to search for all of this stuff just meant so much to me so she got me some crystals she got these ones and i don't know much about crystals so i'm trying to learn they're from i saw at first which is actually really interesting so this is selenite stable Realizes emotions. I need that. So if anyone knows anything about crystals, let me know. I want to learn how to like charge them and stuff. She also got me a bracelet, which is so, so pretty. And this is a crystal bracelet and it is the A-Gate. Balance out mind, body and spiritual energy. I just thought it was so, so thoughtful. I don't know. I was really emotional this Christmas for some reason. And it just made me cry, to be honest. Because I was just like, oh, I can't imagine my sister like searching online for crystals. So cute. Then she got me even more she got me two books that i've wanted for a really long time this one specifically i really wanted this is the woman don't owe you pretty by florence given it's basically like a feminist book i don't know loads about feminism like but i don't know much about the history and i think this is kind of like an introduction to that i think it's going to be interesting on the back it says it's a wonderful day to dump them so flynn watch out <laughs> i'm joking but yeah i'm excited and then jasmine got me this too because she knows i really like chessie king on instagram and and it's the be your own best friend the glorious truths of being a female i don't really know what it's about to be honest basically a book on all sorts of things like periods friends hormones instagram all of that sort of thing and i'm really really excited to have a look through it i got a lot of oh, voice voice crack i got a lot of books this year she also got me a calvin klein set i love calvin klein so i got this bra top which i've literally never had one like this before and i tried it on and it fits perfectly i'm obsessed with it and then she got the matching thong 
and I think that's everything she got me. She got me loads of presents. She totally spoiled me this year. So thank you very much to my lovely sister. The rest of the stuff is basically from my parents and my other family. But basically what happens is most of the time my other family give money to my parents and they pick out presents. Just because it's easy and also my mum is really good at picking presents. <laughs> so it works. Works out great for me. So firstly I have this bra from Calvin Klein. Love it so much. You guys know I love Calvin Klein bras. And this is like a t-shirt bra which I love because it's super comfy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is a palace hat and I wanted to buy it. And I thought I'll ask for it for Christmas, but like I probably won't get it, but we'll see. And I got it and I literally could not breathe. It's baby pink. It's so cute. I wore it on Boxing Day and I literally was obsessed with it. Then I got this. I'm really going randomly. Like I have a lot of clothes to show and other stuff. So I'm going to dabble between everything. I got this 360 days of art. So basically it's a creative exercise for every day of the year. So I was talking to my mum about how Evie paints and I really wanted to get some painting stuff because it looks really fun. And she got me this, which is just, again, stuff like this means so much. So thoughtful. And every single day it's like colouring. Love it. So funny if you look at me now and then look at me like a few years ago I feel like me as a person and how I look and everything must have changed so much Also, I tried to do like the 90s spiky buns, but I don't know if they worked Jumping back to clothes. I got this nighty which I'm in love with I don't know if I'll wear it as a dress or a nighty, but it's from Urban Outfitters and it's black and it's got these little bits for your boobs and then this lace it's literally stunning so in love with it it's beautiful i also got this bag oh my gosh i did ask for this too and i am in love with it so it's like a khaki green and it's massive now i bought a really massive padded bag and it's a little bit not it's not too big but for like a overnight bag it's a bit big this is the perfect overnight bag and i'm in love with it so much so thank you to my mom and my dad then i I got this jumper from motel rocks which i really love so funny i saw a motel rocks bag on the floor of my mum's bedroom and i was like is that a motel rocks bag because i literally saw like the o or something and you know you can just tell and she was like no no and i was like yeah it is and it was christmas eve and then i just thought well, what, would, what would she have got me from motel rocks and then i remembered i asked for this so it's this knitted jumper with this cherub angel i love it i love these knitted pretty printed i love these knitted printed jumpers i think they're so sick and so nice i got a bunch of clothes this year which i love because i love clothes clearly i got some socks these really cracked me up because i was like is that ketchup it says sauce on them but i think it's supposed to be like dripping in sauce <laughs> I don't know, but it did make me laugh. I also got this because I sleep so badly. It's the secret to sleeping better at night. And I'm actually excited to read this. I have so many books to get through. It's a joke. But my sleep sleeping, I cannot speak. My sleeping schedule is so fucked up. Like, I'll go to bed at, like, half two, three, and then I'll wake up at 12 p.m. and miss my whole day. It's not fun. I also got this from, I think this is from one of my cousins. And I love it so much. It's like a passport luggage tag. This is like a wallet, which will be so good when I'm in London to do contactless. And then I have this passport holder, which is so cute. And it's from Kath Kidston. And I said that really, really. <laughs> Kath Kidston. It's really cute. I love it. Then from my auntie and uncle, I got this Jimmy Choo Flash Perfume and it smells really good. Jasmine said it smells sexy, which that's because I am sexy. Oh, it smells... Oh, it's my speaker. Pff, smells really, really good. Then I got this scarf from Primark. I love it so much. My mum was getting it like for my nan or someone and I was like, oh my god, I want to buy that. I love it. I love it. And she bought it for me. Okay, should we move on to what Flynn got me and then go back to my parents because I want to show you guys. He... <sighs> He got me something from Dior. He really spoiled me. So I had no idea what it was going to be at all. And I was so shocked that he picked it out himself. Actually, he probably had help, but it's literally stunning. I love it so, so much. And I was literally in shock that he firstly spent that on me because he totally spoiled me, but also that he picked it out himself. He had to go to London to go collect it. So that was my main present, which I absolutely love. He totally spoiled me. This present made me cry this was my other crying moment so it says i always say we have no photos together because we have been together for four years and we don't have that many photos together and he did this like photo book thing of photos of us and he hates stuff like this he finds it really just 
cringy and he knows I love it. So he gave me the present. He was like, I don't like this, but I know you're going to love it. And I was like, what? And then I cried just because this sort of thing genuinely means so much to me. I feel like although I seem like I'm materialistic because I love clothes and all that sort of thing, something like this means a million times more to me than like a materialistic item. So there's like loads of old unseen photos of us. So cute. Oh god, that is literally me like sleeping in the car. It's disgusting. Oh, it's so cute. And then these are like horrible photos of me. I don't even know why he put those in. I look disgusting, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, I love, love it so much. He also got me more. He's so silly. He got me a juicy couture. Oh my god, that perfume smells really good, can I just say? It's like airing around the room and it smells divine. I got this cream juicy couture set. <sighs> I love it so much. I've wanted it for ages and he got the bottoms and then he got the cardigan, which is, oh my God, so cute. I had it on yesterday and I'm going to wear it as a top because it's not small, but it's like a tight fitting cardigan because he got size small and I'm literally in love with it. I've wanted this for so, so long. Yeah, so that's what he got me. Totally spoiled. Then his mum got me something from a brand called Wanderlust and it's this necklace and I love it so, so much. So if you don't know, me and and my family are gonna get these little lightning bolt matching tattoos, which I'm so excited about. And it's this lightning bolt necklace. I don't know if you can see, it's got little diamante sparkles on it. And I literally love it. Then his dad got me something from the brand Aesop. My mum said it's like really posh, which is probably why I don't really know it that well. <laughs> this is basically a grapefruit and jasmine room spray, which is so nice. It's basically like a candle, but not a candle. Oh, it's like a bit. It just smells really like kind of herby and like clean and mm, it's gonna be so nice when I finally clean my room. <laughs> Maybe that'll make me clean it, I don't know. I got this bag, which I love. I didn't ask for it, so my mum did so well in picking this out. It's this denim mini handbag from Zara. It's so then I have this jumper from Brandy Melville. I love it so much. I've been wearing it for the last three days straight since I got it literally all Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and today I've been wearing it so comfy and I love brown. I actually got my mum a Brandy Melville jumper that she wanted twins got this top from zara too it's actually so so soft little button up cardigan it's like i want to say cashmere but it's definitely not cashmere because that'd be like a hundred pounds but oh my gosh i'm obsessed then i got a pajama set this is from my aunt and uncle i love it because it looks like boxer pants then i got this nasty gal pj set polka dot and then i got polka dot bottoms oh my gosh i'm gonna have so many pjs i also got these pjs too and i also got another pair of pajamas from top shop which looks like boxes too which i just love that stuff so much but i think they're under my pillows does anyone else put their pajamas under their pillows or is it just me we've got a couple bits left i feel like i've been filming this for like three hours i have these top shop jeans which i wore yesterday on my dog walk i love them so much i actually bought these ages ago and then thought i actually haven't asked for anything this christmas and my mum's asking me what i want so i returned them and asked for them and i got them and i'm so happy they fit me beyond perfectly they're like wet look leather style looking with white contrast stitching jeans and they are amazing and then i got this which is a dress and it's like a roll neck it has a cut out it's very like jacquemus i feel like and then it has a slit up the leg I wish I had like a Christmas winter party to wear it too, but I definitely do not. I wore it on Christmas day for like an hour. Then I changed into my jumpsuit and then I changed into my pajamas because I wanted to be comfy. What can I say? So that is everything. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you to anyone that gave me a present. I was just utterly spoilt, 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 rotten. And I really appreciated it so much. I genuinely had the nicest day. I was a bit apprehensive because we've never had a Christmas just us for my family and it was amazing it was so chilled just cozy and lovely and i'm just so so grateful that i have my family around me but that all being said i am gonna love you guys and leave you i can finally put my presents away because every year i have just a pile of presents in my corner waiting to film this video and now i've done it and i can put it all away i'm gonna see you soon with another video like i said this year well next year 2021 revamping the channel i'm gonna be way more consistent and hopefully you're gonna like it i'm gonna go now so i'll see you later peace out